Hey guys, so today I've got something cool to show you. I've been working on it for a little while because I wanted to develop a good example to show you. This is uh, an ESP8266 development board. This one's called the Witty Cloud Development Board and it's an ESP8266 12F. Now this means it's got a load more pins than the normal ESP8266-01 um, that I've been using in the past. And I've never picked up one of these larger boards. Now the really cool thing about this one is it comes with this little daughter board I'm going to call it that because you, I wouldn't really call it a shield and it uh, sort of just plugs in the top. If anything, that, that would be the shield, but it's the bit with the processor on. And on the bottom, it has a CH340G, which is uh, the USB comms chip, which enables us to do the uh, USB communications between our PC and the chip itself. You can program it through the Arduino IDE, which I love because it's very familiar for me. Now the, uh, the ESP8612 F that's on here has a load of input and outputs. You've got some uh, ADC, you've got uh, digital to analog conversion as well, and you've also got I squared C, and I believe you get software SPI, but uh, I don't know if it has hardware SPI pins. As far as I know, it doesn't. Now on the daughter board itself, you've got a USB connection, you've got the, uh, the communications chip there, and you've got a couple of buttons, one which is flash and one's reset. Now, depending on how you're programming this board, you may need that flash button, but if you're just using the normal IDE, it doesn't have the same communication protocol, so it could just go straight through. On the, uh, the top side of the board, on the top of the, <laughs> of the development board, you have the, the chip itself, but you've also got these two other things. You've got an LDR here, and you've got an RGB LED. Now, in the listing, um, which is on your screen right now, you'll see that it's quite a cheap board. It's only $5.88. Um, which is a little bit more than you'd pay for an ESP8266, admittedly. However, you're getting the daughter board to program it with, uh, and it comes in a nice package that's breadboard friendly, which is great. Now, it mentions the LDR, but it also mentions the, the LED as a WS2812. Now, looking at this, actually, it looks very similar. Um, however, it's not that, or at least it in the way that you... Uh, communicate with it. It's not uh, one of these one-wire NeoPixels. This is just a, an RGB LED with uh, its different cathodes connected to, is it common cathode or common? I'm not sure which one, but uh, it has red, green, and blue connected to different pins, and that's how you control it using PWM. So uh, it is not one of these one-wire ones, but it doesn't matter. It still works just fine. You're just using up a few more pins. So what you're getting there is you're getting uh, a sensor. Now I think they would have been better off putting a temperature sensor on there. I think that would make this an ideal board for people to deploy, uh, well, pretty much wherever they have Wi-Fi signal to get some temperature data. Great for people learning how to use these devices. However, they've gone for an LDR, which gives you essentially a light level, and they've gone for the LED, which gives you right out of the box red, green, blue. You've got three indicators there, but uh, because it's RGB, you essentially have a whole spectrum of different colors. So lots of ways to indicate something. Now that could be something that's going on on the board at the time, or it could be something that you're getting from the internet. So that's a nice little addition. I think they should have rethought the, the LDR and put a temperature sensor on like a, an analog one, like an LM35 or something a bit cheaper probably. So this one's only programmed to send out the light level to my web page and display it on a graph. Um, I thought it'd be useful for you guys to see how you might do that. So I've popped some PHP up on my website and I will give you the code for all of these. And all it does, and you'll be able to see once it's connected because I believe it'll flash green. But let's actually watch that happen. So at the moment it's blue and it should flash green, which means it's updated the website. And this is the current state of the website. So you'll see I've got a big graph here with some values on. And these are the values from the analog reading. So we've got uh, reading 119 was 893. And so I'll be playing around a little bit with it here. So if I press refresh, it's just reading from a text file on my server. It will give us some more values that this has just been kicking out. So these would be relatively high values underneath the light here. But if I put my finger over the top of this LDR, it'll start coming down. So I'll just refresh a few more times. And you're looking at the far right hand side of the screen. So we've always already got one down here, which is a little bit of a lower value. 
and then one that's a little bit higher. And again, so it's refreshing every four, four or five seconds. So over here, we've got another one of these witty development boards. Uh, one I purchased from IC Station and one got sent to me. So I wanted to make sure that the ordering process was good. And it was, it was perfectly fine. Just like ordering from eBay or AliExpress or something like that, no problems whatsoever. So you'll see that it fits into a normal breadboard and we've got one layer of pins in each column either side. Now that can be a bit of a problem if you wanted to jump a few things around. However, you can just shift over and put them in another column over here. Now we've got an, a little OLED display. This is a 0.97 or 96 inch display. This is running off I2C, um, which is really easily done in here on, I think it's GPIO 4 and 5. Uh, and there are libraries to do that as well. You can find them within the Arduino IDE under libraries, or you can just look in the code that I'm gonna post up and see where the include is from. And copy and paste that and put it into Google and you'll find it. This is just running off some AA batteries. It's going through the regulator on the board. But what it's doing is it's pulling in weather data from the BBC website through RSS feeds. Now my, my website holds a PHP page which translates that RSS feed into values that can be fed into the ESP8266. The ESP8266 also holds graphical data for these little icons. So if it finds the word cloud in the observations return from the RSS, it will display a cloud. If it finds rain, you'll get rain. Uh, and similarly for sunshine or intermittent clouds, you'll get a different icon. Now you can make your own icons. I'll include the file so you can see how it's done. And there's uh, some links in the library that's used for this display to show you how to do that too. Now this is only updating once every 15 seconds. And in that time, it's going to sleep. So when you see the LED go out, it's actually going to sleep. The Wi-Fi module is going to sleep, the processor and interrupts are staying awake. And that saves around 50 milliamps, which is brilliant. So this thing, when it's running, so when it's green like that, or when it's red, when it's trying to connect, it's using 70 milliamps um, per hour, essentially. Uh, and then when the LED goes off, uh, it will only use around uh, 20 milliamps to 15. Anyway, I'll make this available. Lots of these things have been done before, people making little weather displays, in fact, probably using this very display. Now, these boards can be programmed using the uh, Node MCU 0.9 profile in the boards menu of your IDE, or they can be programmed using the uh, Adafruit Hazard uh, board type. So really, really compatible, very easy to use, quite a lot of fun and not very expensive. So I would advise you to go and have a look. If you can afford it, buy one. I think they're really, really great. Great platform to learn on. Um, certainly more breadboard friendly than your normal ESP8266. And, uh, and they actually have stuff going on here that you can use straight away, which is great. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys.